Today, the folks over at the Belize High School launched an appeal for primary schools from across the country to field a team of 10 students and a teacher mentor to be a part of its first Lego League in Belize. The National Elementary School Robotics Competition is an initiative that the secondary school is thrusting in an effort to further robotics in this generation. Jamie Usher, principal of BHS, says that the program began over the summer when students were brought in for a first-hand experience in merging building blocks and coding using arithmetic. We are calling for 10 teams to join a robotics competition called First Lego League. And First Lego League can take 10 students and one mentor. Um, your registration will include a kit, and in the kit will have a mat and some different Lego pieces to build and then your team will need to get a robot. You work from now until January. In the middle of January, we'll be having all the teams descend on BHS campus for a national competition. The winner of that competition will be dubbed the first ever first Lego League Team Belize, and they will go to represent us in USA. Three schools already signed up are Belize Elementary School, Garden City, and Island Academy Primary Schools. There is a misconception, however, that robotics is a difficult field. But Standard for student Taylor Bradley says it's quite the contrary. He took an interest having played with Legos from a young age. He's convinced that his peers and even persons in their adult age can be engaged in robotics. To me, it's easy and I think it's a good way to teach kids how to build robotics and how to program so then if they wanted to do stuff like IT, in the future, it would be easier for them. You would advise other kids from your school, from elsewhere, to do the same? To participate in it? Yes, I would advise them. Although some kids might not like Legos, but I understand that and they might have differences. So I'm just saying, I'm not going to force people to do it. I'm just advising it out of my own heart. Belize High School has been a trailblazer when it comes to introducing robotics at the secondary level. In fact, for the second year in a row, a group of students have been selected to represent the country in an international robotics competition in Dubai against over 190 plus teams from other countries. Team Belize leaves on Sunday, but we got an inside look as they made final tweaks to their robot, the Sea Empress, which is designed to collect micropolitans in water. It's a little unbelievable. We still can't believe that in a couple days we'll be on a plane with our fully built robot. It's really unbelievable. It took a lot of trial and error, so like building something, realizing it doesn't work, it doesn't fit the guidelines, having to take it down or tweaking it. It's a lot of um, engineering and programming too, so a lot of the programming aspect was there too. And we hope that a robot will be, it will, it's sure to do what it's supposed to. We're preparing to compete against other, I believe 190 other countries, and we're, we have been preparing since August, I believe. August, and we're going uh, there's a specific game we're going to be playing and our goal is to get into the top 30 which is the semi-finals but ultimately obviously we're out there to get the experience and come back to Belize and share that experience with the people here and get robotics known in Belize. Dwayne Moody for News 5.